Okay, a car goes from this speed to this speed in that distance, right? So this is our initial, right? Our final is 21, right? These are meters per second, right? Okay, 84 is our distance. Okay, and we want to know the average velocity. Well, average velocity is easy, right? That V with a little thing there, that means average velocity, right? That's just uh, 42 plus 21. Over two, right? So 42 plus 21 is 63. 63 divided by 2 is, is that 31 and a half? Uh, uh, it's, it's not difficult, right? Okay, so let's see. Average velocity. What was the time? Mm. This sounds difficult. I think I'll use this guy. X is 1 half VI plus VF. T, right? So that is one half. I'll just plug the numbers in. 84 is one half. 42 plus 21 times T, right? Well, one half 42 times 21 is 31.5, right? And so if I divide both sides by 31.5, Since this is, we just figured that out, right? That this is 41.31.5. This will go away, right? 84 divided by is uh, 2.6 bar. So the time is 2.6. <laughs> okay, and that's our that's our time, right? What was the acceleration? Oh, let's see, acceleration. I'm going to use, uh, you know what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm not going to use the time that we just got. I'm going to be contrary. I'm going to use this guy, VF squared is VI squared, right? Because I want to use no T. This guy is no T, right? I don't want to use that. So I can use these guys plus 2AX. Okay, so the final velocity is 21 squared, right? That equals 42 squared. Uh, plus 2 times A times 84. Okay, next step is, let's see, uh, I guess it's 21 squared minus 42 squared is equal to 2 times A times 84. All right, so now I'm going to take this thing in parentheses and divide that by 2 and divide it by 84. Right now, get rid of these guys. Okay, so this requires parentheses, right? So I'm going to go left parenthesis. 21 squared minus 42 squared, right parenthesis, divided by 2, divided by 84. Okay, so when I do that, when I solve this guy for A, I get negative 7.875. And that, oh, that's meters per second squared, right? Um, this should, oh, I gotta put it in the box. Okay, um, the fact that it's negative makes sense because it's going from a higher speed to a lower speed, right? So it should be a negative thing um, and it will be meters per second squared because it's acceleration.